Well, what a great start to week seven there then with Stu. And I'm at Ascot for the long walk hurdle. It's a three mile one furlong grade one. And at the top, I've got Al Ale for David Hooley, Man of Manners, Joshua Slur, Mysterious Ways, Leon Van Rensburg, Orlando Template, Vinnie Gerard, Stadium Arcadium for Craig Allen, Thunder Road, Leon Van Rensburg, Trench Green, Darren Thompson, Wish Jackson, Graham Clutterbuck, Berry Parks, Darren Thompson, Empress of the World, Joshua Sutherland, Hakla Omnia, David Robertson, Raphael Amarlet for Craig Allen, and San Vina for Craig Beckwith. So 13 of them then to face the starter on this long distance hurdle. And away they go with the with her looking very nice for a change and it's Berry Parks who comes down to the first in the lead out jumped though by Orlando Template who now goes on Al Eagle the newcomer at the back was a little bit slow but it's Orlando Template who settled down into the lead there with a lead of about two lengths to Berry Parks in second stable mate Trench Green lights outside the greys in third as they get to the second and the fourth horse over that one was Empress of the World and the black and the red hoops closest to us that's now moved into third place just tucked in behind that one is Wish Jackson as they make their way down towards the third of the 14 flights that they've got to negotiate in this long war hurdle and the Orlando template is the leader there's a fall out of the back Stadium Arcadium's gone so that's one of the fancy runners out Stadium Arcadium gone at the third and Orlando template is about five lengths clear of Empress of the World in second Trench Green is third and Berry Parks on the inside of that one stable mate is fourth and comes Wish Jackson a little bit of a gap then to San Vina is wide on the track Raphael and Milet is after that one with on that one's inside Hakla Omnia Al Eel has made some ground upon this inside the second of the Joshua Sutherland horses man of managers towards the back of the Leon van Rensburg pair on the back too as they take number four with Orlando Template continuing to show the way for Vinnie Gerard with a good four and a half length lead from the Darren Thompson Grey Trench Green in second and Empress of the World third for Joshua Sutherland with Darren Thompson's second runner Berry Parks in fourth as they take the fifth all safely over that one a little bit untidy on the outside it was Thunder Road but it's Orlando Template who continues to show the way leading by about four lengths to Empress of the World is in second and Trench Green on the outside of that one is third Witch Green or Wish Jackson on the inside of Trench Green is next then comes Man of Manners Raphael Amar let's make it a bit of a forward move San Vina on the outside of Hakla Omnia with the purple jacketed L Eel on the inside as they take the sixth and over that one Ali was a little bit slower as now shuffled to the back of the pack so they're coming up then past the stand they're going to take this flight that'll be the next the last on the next circuit they've got Less than two miles to race, they'll swing right-handed shortly after this flight past the stand and then out for another circuit of the Ascot track and they're all safely over flight number seven with Orlando Template, a clear leader in the lead all the way so far. And leading by about five lengths to Wish Jackson and Empress of the World who are taking a share a second. And the grey trench green berry parks is close up as well. Raphael and Milet's now moving around the outside. They can pass the winning post then and they'll now swing right-handed and take a full complete circuit of the track the Orlando template bowling along nicely in the lead leading by a good four lengths to Wish Jackson in second Empress of the World is on that one's inside in third stable mate Man of Manners is now getting much closer on the outside of it then Raphael and Marlette widest on the track of, of all the two Darren Thompson horses have just dropped back a little bit with Hakla Omnia and the turquoise and maroon hoops on their inside Going through, Al Eel has now moved through into the centre of the pack as they come down to flight number eight. And over that one they all go with San Vina a little bit slow on the outside, just really going into the back with Thunder Road also not jumping fluently today, but it's Orlando Template who continues to show the way, winning the lead from the outset. Leads into flight nine, skips over it nicely, gets away from it well. The grey head of Berry Parks was just about showing in second for a second or two. But it's Orlando Template who continues to lead the rest of the field and they're really beginning to bunch with Wish Jackson just about second now as they take flight number 10. Orlando Template is 
continuing to lead, but only by about two and a half lengths now to Berry Parks and Wish Jackson. Then comes Raphael Amornet. Halil is making a forward-looking move on the outside as well. That one's going quite well. San Venus now switching to the inside. He's going to try and get a split up the inside, it would seem. Orlando Template, though, continues to lead by two lengths. We need less than a mile to race. Orlando Template, but in the lead all the way so far, continues to go well in front from Wish Jackson for Graham Clutterbuck in second. Berry Parks is third. And on the inside is Empress of the World. They're pretty tightly packed, the rest of them, though, but the leader is still too clear, taking flight. Number 11 gets over it nicely. Really good jump on the inside there by Empress of the World. Also on the outside, Berry Parks. They're now joining the leader, and they're all in one group now. The lead is, is down to about half a length, and it's Orlando Template. There's only half a length clear. Jockey has it to quicken. On the outside, Berry Parks. Alil running an interesting race over there on the outside in third as they get over the 12th. That's the third from home. Rafael Amarlet jumped that well. San Vina is getting much closer. There's plenty of these who still got plenty of chance, and it's Orlando Template who's in the lead, but now San Vina on the outside is coming through to challenge for the lead. Then Hackler Omnia, Berry Parks, Empress of the World. Alil running a big race on debut. The one that's dropped right out of his trench screen. That one's been pulled up, but it's Orlando Template in front then. Orlando Template from San Vina and Hackler on Naya. Then comes Berry Parks. Empress of the World is next. Then after that one, Thunder Road starting to run on. Alley a bit of a flat spot. So's Raphael Amorlet. This is the second last. Over it they go and it's Hackler Omnia who jumps into the lead. Hackler Omnia then now takes it up. Leads by about a length to San Vina in second. Berry Parks is third. Orlando Templates beaten. Running on the outside of Thunder Road. They're coming down towards the final flight. Then in the long walk portal. And it's Hackler Omnia. Over it in the lead. Gets away from it well. San Vina in second. Berry Parks back in third. These three are clear of everybody else and it's Hackler Hackler on Naya is a good two lengths clear, doesn't look like it's stopping. San Vina and Berry Parks are trying to close, but Hackler on there looks like he's got enough in hand and races up towards the line. Then Hackler on there, Jockey's taking it pretty easy. San Vina and Berry Parks are beginning to get closer, but he's got enough in hand. He just holds on. Hackler on there, Jockey a little bit too casual for my liking in the final 100 yards or so. And David Robertson might have been a little bit worried. As San Vina and Berry Parks closed, but it's Hacker Omnia that hangs on and takes it for David Robertson. San Vina for Craig Beckwith was second. Berry Parks, Darren Thompson third. Raphael Amarlet for Craig Allen fourth. And Thunder Road for Leon Van Rensburg was fifth.